So let's talk about resources through example. We have this config class here. This is a problem we all have. We want a safe configuration of our game to disk. So my config has the volume, a bool to show the tutorial or not, and the input map. So think about the code you might have to write to save this. You'd have to loop over all the input map, blah, blah, blah. No. Resource saver, save. This is all the code to save this guy. And then if we want to load it back in, we just say load. And then here I have a little check just in case it's not there. I create a new one. And then we go over the input map we saved and we just reapply it to the project settings. This works because input events are resources themselves. So I have a little test here that sets different values on the config, saves, and then it's going to open up my user directory using this cool little helper function, globalize path. So we have config.trez. Here's the volume, show tutorial, and our input map saved. So let's look at another great use of resources. I have this problem. I have a bat, a skeleton, and a spider in my RPG, and I want to give them all stats like health, magic, how much attack they have. I want it to show up in the inspector so I can easily edit it. But that's not going to work because bat is a rigid body, skeleton is a kinematic body, and spider is a sprite. So if I just add a script with export variables, they can't be shared. I'd have to rewrite it. I have to copy past it. So how can resources help me? Well, we can export resources. Check out the, back, the bat script. We export the resource and we call it stats. So then let's look at the stats class I've written previously. It's a resource called stats, has help, magic, and attack, floats from zero to one, pretty simple. And we apply it by clicking on the bat, going to the inspector, we scroll down, down and down and down, we find new stats, open it up, and hey, it works. Now we can adjust these guys. And it gets even cooler because let's say you said, well, you know, I think all these guys should have the same stats. They're all the same class of monster or whatever. So now you could go to resource save. We're gonna save it as easy monster. And then here, I can just drag it on. And if I change it for one person, let's say you're balancing the game, I could say, well, I think I want the health of the easy monster just to be a little bit more and the magic to be a little bit less. So that's another really, really useful use of resources. And again, saving your game now would be very trivial because you would just have to loop over all your entities and save their stats. I hope resources seem useful. If you have any questions about that stuff, there is a link to a Discord in the description. It's for a game I'm making, um, but I'm on there all the time, pretty active if you want to come talk to me about anything. Cool, thanks.